Nigeria Early. I'm the co-founder, creative director, and brand strategist for TIER. We are really strategic about how we work. So our day-to-day -day looks like the, using Mondays as external meeting days, Tuesdays as design days, Wednesday is our regular day-to-day -day work, whether that's orders, inventory, creating samples, tech packs, things of that nature. Like we're constantly in the studio getting work done. Then Thursday is our other deluxe sign day. Friday, we kind of unlike wine every day, Monday through Friday. Um, and we're normally here from 10 to five every day. Most days during the week, you'll find me here working. I knew I wanted to work in fashion from the time I was young. And for me, the inspiration really came from a number of places, but mainly anime. I just was always fascinated with just the outfits and the structure of it and just the different themes that would be in these different shows and how they would put clothes to like gather that wasn't really common in the area where I'm from. I also drew a lot of inspiration from just not being able to wear regular clothes every day. Like most schools that I went to growing up, I wore uniform every day. Some schools we had like dress down Fridays where you could put on clothes for this Friday. And like those, those days I would like try to put on my best fit because I'm like, all right, I ain't get to wear regular clothes all week. And I feel like that's also where like my love for sneakers came from too. You know, cause I like how the clothing, like I really have like a bunch of sneakers. We we like look back at certain things and how it's like, yo, we was really wearing that. But it's like, this is really how fashion always is. Like it's always an era or, you know, a, a like moment where people are doing this thing that at that time is moving culture and that, becomes something that gets repeated inside the future, even if it's not cool now, right? Because sometimes trends skip, right? And there's some things that's timeless. The advice that I would give is if you have a vision, make sure you have the work ethic with it. I think that would be the best piece of advice that I, I can give because a lot of people have a vision. A lot of people are creative, but it's actually doing the work and spending the time to properly craft what you want to do, to properly show up in the way that you need to show up for what you want to do or what you say that you want out of life. See, I feel like I do look young sometimes. So I did always used to get that feeling of, like if I wanted to do like a deal or if I wanted to like go to a venue or event, like when I was maybe like, I wanna say like 22, 23, like those ages, like when we like first started here, we would try to go book venues and do things like that. And it was like, well, are y'all old enough? Are you old enough? Do you have, you know, the capital or like just just like different different things like that? And I wasn't sure if it was a like, are y'all trying to say that because I'm young and I'm black or because I really look young, right? Like, you know, like, Things like that, like when you're trying to go or like around the city telling them that you want to manufacture for this or you want to speak to somebody about that or you want to so like cure this venue for an like vent, things like that. So um, 
I would say that most times I try not to let anything dictate what my character is, like who I am. So I'm not even in that like mindset of me looking at other people as if they're trying to target me. Because if I if I personally feel that, yeah, but I know that Nigeria is gonna make whatever happened for Nigeria happen. There's gonna, gonna be nobody, no color, no race, no nothing that's gonna stop me from getting what I want to get out of life. My name is Nigeria Ailey, co-founder and creative director of Tier. My fashion playbook pro tip would be to, one, believe in yourself, believe in the work that you do, and with your vision, make sure you put action behind it.